I decide how I'm going to be me on my terms without anyone's permission. Now, more than ever, you're starting to see this pushback and people are fighting against the typical beauty standard. Owning my bold was something that I'm really glad that I chose to do. I am who I am and I really want to own that. I'm Samantha McMeekin and I'm the Deputy Beauty Editor at Glamour UK. My name's Callie Thorpe, I am a plus size style blogger. My name's Jadira, popularly known online as The Slum Flower. I'm creator of hashtag Saggy Boobs Matter. The world teaches women that we are objects to be consumed rather than bodies to be lived in. That's very, very evident in how women are presented in advertising. Saggy Boobs Matter is a hashtag I created because I found that so many women who had a very similar frame to me were very unhappy with their bodies. It started from one Instagram post where I wrote a caption was when it's really cute, yellow deep plunge dress and I was like, my body exists for me, I don't have to prove my beauty to anyone, I didn't come here to be desired and I ended it with hashtag Saggy Boobs Matter. People came in with all the abuse and the insults. I deserve comfort and I want to choose resilience. I don't want to have to back down and cave and let people tell me how I should be myself. Owning my bold and maintaining confidence is an everyday struggle. Growing up, I kind of didn't feel pretty or feminine because from such a young age, we're taught that we aren't good enough, we're not small enough, we're not pretty enough, we're not this, we're not that. Using fashion for me has been a way to express my boldness. I had a holiday book to go to Barbados with my boyfriend and I was really self-conscious. I felt the lowest about myself and I had to find swimwear to wear. I was so scared but I bought the bikini and I wore it on holiday and I had never worn a bikini before in my life. But the biggest, most scariest part of it all was I actually shared it online. I was petrified, I was actually shaking. I remember the moment when I posted to my private Facebook. I was like, oh my God, everyone's gonna see me in my bikini. I'm too big to be in a bikini. I posted it online and I had such positive feedback. And I had these amazing messages from women writing to me to say that me wearing it could encourage them to wear it. I felt a weight lift off me because I realized that I could love myself exactly how I was. When a lot of people find out what I do for a living, they think, oh, she's just a beauty editor. She writes about lipstick and foundation, but it is so much more than that. To me, my job is about shaping today's beauty perception. Growing up as a kid, there was a certain ideal type of beauty, but today there's not one type of beauty and I want people to know that they can look however they want to look and be however they want to be. I own my own bold by instilling confidence in other women through my work. I have to be really vulnerable and put myself out there, whether it's on camera or whether it's writing an article. Social media is not only such a big part of the media industry now, it's part of everyone's daily lives. And I think it's what started off as a curated version of our lives is now morphing into something more real and everyone's showing a more real side of themselves. I'm really glad that I've been able to connect with so many women who have had the same experience as me. I'm in a position where I'm really comfortable in my body and I want to help other people reach that point. Representation really matters and me putting myself online and showing myself in swimwear not just changed my life but it helped me change other people's. I'm open to so much criticism every day and I could get loads of negative comments but as long as I get that one person saying you've really helped me then that's when I feel empowered and that's when I feel most bold. I want to influence people in a positive way so that they leave my Instagram page or social media page feeling good about themselves. I do believe you can be feminine and bold in the same way you can be sensitive and strong and that's something that we should try to celebrate more.